The lake is really still right now. It's really nice. Uh, so you're not allowed to camp down here, but I've passed several tents. <laughs> I don't know if they enforce it. I'm at a campground in Cashel and I uh, found coffee. It's really good. But I'm pacing because if I don't, the midges will swarm me. The midges are so bad today. There isn't any uh, wind. So <laughs> I'm starting to feel some bites uh, in the hairline. Um, I'm going to have to maybe uh, crack open those antihistamines, I think. I do have repellent, but I'll be a little more diligent putting it on. And I upgraded my bug net here uh, to a finer weave because <laughs> mine wasn't working. 11 a.m. almost, and slight breeze now, and this is the first chance I've had where I could sit down and relax <laughs> without being eaten by midges. I have midges in my nose, in my ears. I've eaten so many of them. Ah, uh, they are nasty. So, uh, <laughs> I'm actually thinking rain wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> A few minutes ago on the trail, I ran into a woman that I met yesterday, and she's got a big, heavy pack like me. Uh, she's struggling, so she got a ride here, and she's going to have her backpack ported the remainder of the route, which I have to admit is really tempting. Um, but uh, she's a tiny little thing, and she's got painting supplies, <laughs> and I've got that beer guzzling out of shape Sherpa body style so I think I don't have an excuse but I have to admit today I'm feeling way better I'm feeling stronger my pack doesn't feel nearly as heavy either and it I have lightened the load a little bit I when I donated my boots I also donated a couple shirts and some little pouches I had for storing things and threw out my coffee filter and I also had a stuff sack like a dry bag compression sack that worked like a backpack and it was good for the plane as a carry-on but yesterday morning it was just shedding its lining there's little bits of rubber all over me and everything and I I just threw it out that thing was pretty heavy so uh, I've made a few adjustments like that and it's it's going really well and obviously I've eaten some food <laughs> I think it's just gonna keep getting better now so there's a UK cancer research hike marathon thing going on today and I'm glad I started hiking early because I've been passing a lot of people and sometimes the path gets kind of narrow and uh, it's hard to get by all that oncoming traffic. Well I'm nearly at my destination and I think I'm gonna get some lunch. I am so hungry and thirsty. I'm almost done hiking for today so I got myself a brisket and brie. I made it. <laughs> Everything after this point is fair game, but uh, so far it doesn't look very promising. I'm hoping uh, the trail's gonna split and I'm hoping I can go back down to the lake shore and camp there tonight. I love this spot so much. <laughs> there's just enough of a breeze that there's no midges. And uh, the water is icy cold. But very refreshing and uh, so far there's no one else camping here so it's quiet there's jet skis and motorboats occasionally I've got the tent set up but I don't have the fly on it yet because it's kind of warm and I don't want to to get too hot in there I think I'm gonna stay here a couple nights um, we might be getting some thunderstorms tonight not sure and there's the clouds don't really seem too bad yet um, but I don't want to have to pack up everything when it's wet so I'll see. I slept really good and my tent keeps the midges out but they are between my tent and the tent fly and I have to get up so it's time to put on my bug net and some pants. I absolutely cannot see my phone display with this net on. Um, yeah it's a little buggy this morning obviously. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for a walk back to the park boundary. It's not that far. They have a bathroom, running water, and then maybe I'll hit the restaurant again. Um, but I'm gonna stay here another night. Uh, tent's all set up, so basically I just have to jump in. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, hopefully the bugs aren't going to be too bad on the way there and back. <laughs> Came back for some fish and chips and a Kelvin lager at the uh, Klansman. It's over three kilometers, I didn't even realize. Lunch was really good. I managed to eat all of my fish and chips, so it was kind of hard to get it all down. Took my time. Uh, I'm going to head back to the campsite now. The sun came out. It's kind of warm. Uh, I don't know how long it'll stay that way. It might rain again tonight. It's supposed to be some thunder showers. Tomorrow, further along the West Highland Way, and we'll find some new adventures. <laughs>